Dear Mr. General, well, dear fellow Toastmasters and guests, dear Thomas, the purpose of the icebreaker is simply to show us what the icebreaker deliverer already has. I will be mostly talking about what I liked about your presentation. And what did I like about your presentation? Well, you can say, one can say that you should try your 31st job and try to be an actor. Because I think you will succeed in doing that. Why do you think so? You have very rich vocal variety and you are not too afraid to use it. I mean, I love how you use pauses. I love how you play with your voice, shouting that, well, am I going to stay for four years in the university? Hell no, something like that. <laughs> your vocal variety is better. I agree. There's something to learn from you. I like that you interacted with the audience, which shows that you're confident enough to do that. And I liked how you integrated some of the information you received from the audience to, into your speech. You know, like you said, Mikhail listens and earns money, and I drink coffee and, and I earn money. Great thing. And I liked that you, I have to tell you one thing, I have to confess, I asked Thomas, whether he was ready to do his icebreaker about 24, perhaps 30, 36 hours ago. So it wasn't too much time for him to prepare. And he did a great job. Thanks for spending your time preparing, and thanks for keeping your speech within time limits. Yeah. I think you have a bright future in Toastmasters. We definitely will tell you a lot of positive, constructive things in the future, in your future projects. But for now, congratulations on a fine icebreaker, and we are very glad to greet you as our member for most of these peers. Yeah.